This is part of an ongoing series of tips on arranging music for solo guitar and becoming your own one-person band. Arranging for solo guitar is essentially figuring out how to play the melody and the chords at the same time. We're going to go over three common chords and talk about how you can alter them to accommodate the melodies in your arrangements. Let's say you have this melody and you want to play it over an A major chord. Really, it's just a scale, but let's look at how we can alter the A major chord and play this melody at the same time. When we play melodies and chords at the same time, we generally play the melody as the highest note so it stands out over the rest of the chord. The first note of the scale is second space A, which is right here in the chord form, and this A is on the third string, so we just leave out strings one and two from the chord form. Next note is B, which we play as an open second string. So all we have to do is add the open second string to the chord we just played. You can play C sharp on the second fret of the second string. And that note is part of the original A major form. So we play everything but the first string. And then the D is third fret of the second string, just one fret higher than the C sharp. So now we're going to alter the chord by playing the third fret instead of the second fret on that second string. And if E is the melody note, we're all set because that is the highest note of your standard A major chord. I do want to point out that there's no rule that says you have to play every single note of a chord form. I'm playing finger style, which is how I play most of my arrangements. So I'm using four digits, thumb, one, two, and three. So unless I strum, I'm playing a maximum of four notes. Even though I'm visualizing a full A major chord here, I'm leaving out the fourth string by choice. And often I will play just three strings or even two strings. Next up is the F sharp, which is first string, second fret. So we're going to add a note to the original chord form. And the easiest way to do this is to just bar across the second fret. To play the G sharp, we can keep that same bar and add a finger to the fourth fret on the first string. And to play this A above the staff, keep that bar and add a finger to the fifth fret on the first string. Put that all together, and here's what we've got. Now let's look at this A minor melody. And give it the same treatment, this time with an A minor chord. Just as we did with A major, we're going to have to either leave notes out or add notes to the A minor chord form to fit our melody. The first note of the scale is second space A, which is right here in the chord form. So leave out the first and second strings. Next up is B. So we just add the open second string to that chord. This C is part of the standard A minor form. So we play everything but the first string. The D is third fret of the second string. So we play third fret instead of first fret on that string. E is the highest note of your standard A minor chord. So we're all set there. And the highest note in this little melody is an F first string, first fret. So we add that F to the original chord form. And the easiest way to do this is to bar your first finger across strings one and two. Then you play your way back down using the same alterations you played on the way up. So let's play the whole thing. Our third and final example is in the key of C major. going to play this over a C major chord. Our first melody note is third space C. That'll be second string, first fret. 
and we're playing the melody as the highest note of the chord, so we just leave out the first string. Next is a D, also on the second string on the third fret. So we're still leaving out the first string, and we play that third fret D on the second string. This E is the highest note of a standard C major chord, so we add the first string back in. And again, you don't have to play every single note of a chord form. I'm playing fingerstyle, so as long as I'm plucking and not strumming, I'm going to play a maximum of four notes. Now we have an F, first string, first fret, so we're going to change our open first string and play first fret instead. Now, this F is going to clash with the E on the fourth string. But again, I'm playing fingerstyle, so I just leave out the fourth string. And the highest note of this melody is this G, first string, third fret. So we add that G to the top of a standard C chord. Then you play your way back down the way you played up. So let's jump ahead to measure three, beat two, this open B. Once again, we're not playing the first string. We can play this B on the open second string. So we just take away the first finger and play second string open. To harmonize the next two notes, we're going to play three strings only. This A is played on third string second fret, so we just play these two notes of our C chord and add the A on top. And this G, open third string, is part of the standard C major chord, so if you want to play this G as your melody note, all you have to do is play these three notes of a C chord. Then we play our way back up to the C we started on. So let's put it all together. We just went over three examples, but you can do this sort of thing with any chord. Sometimes it's a matter of adding a note to the top of the chord, and sometimes you just need to subtract a note or two. Thanks for watching, and for more guitar lessons, music theory, and solo guitar arrangements, please subscribe.